Virgos. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to be doing a bi-weekly for you guys. It is going to go from May 7th to the 20th, 2018. So the next two weeks. Those of you that are new, welcome. And thank you guys so very much for subscribing. If you are not subscribed to my channel, Virgo, please click the pink subscribe. I would so very much appreciate that. So for your reading, Virgo, I am using Wheel of the Year. And I'm also going to be pulling you messages from your angels. And a Romance Angels card. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. As always, Virgo, just keep in mind if the reading does not resonate with you, look at your moon, your rising signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, the Instant Go app. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. All my Virgo subscribers, spirit, sun, moon, and rising. From May 7th to the 20th, what do they need to know? Virgo. Virgo. Okay, Virgo, your cards actually feel really good. Nice cut. Three of Wands. The Lovers. Three of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. Chariot. Eight of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. Mm, interesting. The Queen of Swords. All right. Your overall energy for the next two weeks is the Six of Swords. Let me move these down so you can see. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. All right, so the Six of Pentacles is your overall, is at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, this is that giving and receiving. It's a generous energy financially, you know, in a good place. You know, you have enough to give to help others. And you're feeling very balanced. The overall energy is that you're going to be carrying around with you for the next two weeks is the Six of Swords. You know, this is going to be you moving forward. Definitely towards peace and harmony. You have two sixes. You know, peace, more harmony, much more calmer, smoother times. Peace of mind. You could be physically moving. Some of you could be traveling. I definitely see some of you receiving a raise or a promotion, moving up in the comp within the company that you work for. Absolutely getting acknowledged at work this week, over the next two weeks. Some of you definitely are dealing with a situation involving three people. You know, the three of wands. I mean, we have the shooting star. You know, so you're wishing and willing for a decision. This talks about you know something something beginning, you know something growing. Maybe you're you know maybe you're definitely receiving a decision with a lover's card or a choice. That allows for things to move forward. You know, because you're definitely moving forward with the Six of Swords. You also have the Chariot. 
So for some of you, you definitely could be receiving a decision or making a decision with the lover's card you know, that allows for you to take control. You know, take the take these reins and steer this chariot where you want it to go and move forward. If things have been stagnant, nothing's been moving. The energy of the chariot, I just see it literally pushing everything forward for you. Some of you definitely could be moving toward a new job with the Eight of Pentacles. Moving up within the company that you currently work for. You know, and the Chariot is the ultimate victory and success card. Definitely moving toward more stability, more security. You're working very hard. You also have the Three of Pentacles here. So some of you definitely are working very hard, no doubt. You know, you're very focused, paying attention to the details. You're definitely investing a lot of time into this. You know, with the Eight of Pentacles, you definitely could be receiving a raise, promotion, Getting noticed within the workplace. Being watched within the workplace. That's what's giving you this raise of promotion. Definitely continue to work hard. You know, some of you could be working on a team. For some of you, working well within a team. You know, maybe you work with two other people. You're working hard on a project. This is definitely, you know, your energy. Very grounded, practical. Making excellent business decisions in regards to finances, career. There could be an air sign person. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. For some of you... This could be your attorney. It's possible that you are waiting on your attorney. Because we also have the hanged man here too. So you could be waiting for your attorney you know, to contact you. you know, this, this could also be you know, that, that suspense period. Being in, lim being in limbo. You know, but the energy of this card is only temporary. So maybe you are waiting on a decision from the company that you work for. I do feel for some of you, this is you definitely, you know, definitely. I mean, the enlightenment clarity is coming right down at you. You're definitely receiving clarity, information. Receiving enlightenment or a fresh perspective. So when it comes to making a decision, this could be you maybe looking at things differently or receiving a decision. Being enlightened with the hangman. And it very well could be communication from your attorney, maybe an air sign person or an earth sign. Another, you know, Virgo, a Taurus or a Capricorn. For some of you, a Cancer, a Gemini could be important. Those of you that are working very hard and putting in a lot of time, energy, and effort into this, I really feel like it's going to pay off for you. Now, the Queen of Swords is all about you know, the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. You know, she represents clarity. Some of you are definitely waiting on information or something to be revealed. And you're definitely moving towards learning, towards, you know, leaving troubled times and moving forward. Definitely toward financial abundance, success, 
being recognized and coming through very successful. But, oh, others of you, there's definitely a decision being made here between two people. You have two threes. Which, you know, threes do speak of growth, expansion. But you're definitely moving forward. Not bad at all. Let me get you an Oracle card. And you're coming through really very successful. Somebody definitely is bringing you clarity, enlightenment. Those of you that are involved in a three-party situation, you know, when you're really wishing and willing for them, for you to be chosen or vice versa, you're the one doing the, if, if you're the one that's waiting on, you know, whether or not it's going to be you, yes, definitely, yeah, I would say absolutely, Virgo. Romance Angel. Virgo. What else does Virgo need to Okay. Bethany, beautiful. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself... A relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or a pedicure. It's a perfect card for Virgos. We're, we're good at doing that kind of stuff. I am anyway. I love going to like the salon when I have the time. But this really, over the next two weeks, two weeks, make time for yourself. You know, for some of you, you know, things probably haven't been the easiest to deal with. But you're absolutely moving forward. You're moving toward more harmony. Really within your relationships. Moving toward peace of mind. A much more positive environment. And now it's definitely time to make time for yourself. You know, you've worked hard and you deserve it. Definitely. Okay. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So, definitely a big decision is being made here with this three-party situation. And it's definitely in your favor, Virgo. For sure. All right, Virgo, I hope the reading helps you guys out for the next two weeks. If not, definite, if it didn't resonate, definitely look at your other signs. But I hope you guys have a beautiful next two weeks. And I will see you guys back here soon. Until then, guys, take care. Bye-bye.